ating aralin ngayon ay hango sa asignaturang Mathematics ng Kuwan Week 1. Ang ating most essential learning competency uses the visibility rules for 2, 5, and 10 to find the common factors of numbers and uses, uses the visibility rules for 3, 6, and 9 to find common factors. The visibility rules for 2, 5, and 10 are together because they are required checking the ones digit of the whole numbers. So, anong ibig sabihin nito? Associate. Ang rules daw ng 2, 5, at 10 ay napagsama-sama dahil ang magiging basihan natin ay yung 1's digit. So, balik. So, how do we know if a number is divisible by 2, 5, and 10? So, the divisibility rule for 2. Number is divisible by 2 if the 1's digit of the number is 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0. Ibig sabihin nito, ang number or ang isang numero ay pwedeng i-divide sa 2 kapag yung 1's digit nito I, it's either 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0. Limbawa, is 238 divisible by 2? O itong 238 daw divisible ba? Pwede ba, tang, pwede ba itong i-divide sa 2? So yes, because the 1's digit, which is 8, is divisible by 2. So tignan natin yung one's digit na. So, it is 8. So, ang 8 ay divisible by 2. So, automatic, yung buong number na ito, yung 238 is divisible by 2. Another example, 860 is divisible by 2 since its one's digit is 0. Okay, so, 860, yung one's digit niya is 0. Sabi natin, Kapag ang number ay ang 1's digit nito, it's either 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0. Pwede siyang i-divide sa 2. Next, divisibility rule for 5. Number is divisible by 5 if the 1's digit of the number is 0 or 5. So, itong 5, mas madali lang tandaan kasi dalawang numero lang yung natandaan natin. It's either 0 or 5. Ulitin ko, kapag ang number daw ay nagtatapos or ang 1's digit nito ay 0 or 5, pwede siyang i-divide sa 5. Halimbawa, ang 660. Divisible by 5 siya kasi it ends with or the 1's digit is 0. Ganon din ang 315. It is divisible by 5 kasi yung 1's digit niya is 5. So, tandaan, divisible ang uh, isang uh, number ay pwedeng i-divide sa 5 kapag ang 1's digit niya ay 0 or 5. Next, divisibility rule for 10. A number is divisible by 10 if the 1's digit of the number is 0. So, isa lang yung tandaan natin sa 10. Ang lahat ng mga numbers na nagtatapos or uh, ang 1's digit nito is 0, pwede siyang i-divide sa 10. Example, 530. Ang 1's digit nito is 0. So, it is divisible by 10. Ganun din ang 1,940. It ends with 0 or the 1's digit is 0. Kaya, it is also divisible by 10. So let us study the given table. 
So ang mga numbers na divisible by 2, we have here, 10, kasi sabi natin kanina, kapag ang number na nagtatapos, or the one digit is 2, 4, 6, 8, and 0, it is divisible by 2. Then, ito rin, ang one digit niya is 8, which is divisible by 2. Kaya yung 18, pwedeng divide sa 2. 34, the one digit is 4, which is divisible by 2. So, pwede rin divide sa 2 yung 34. 138, the one digit is 8. So, it is divisible by 2. And also, 5. Numbers divisible by 5. Sabi natin, the one, if the 1 digit is 0 or 5. So, lahat ng mga numbers na ito ay divisible by 5. Kasi, their 1 digit is 0 at saka 5. And then, these are the numbers divisible by 10. Kasi ang 1 digit nila is 0. So, how do we know if a number is divisible by 3, 6, or 9? So, this is the rule for 3. Number is divisible by 3 if the sum of all the digits is divisible by 3. So, ulitin ko. Ang number daw ay pwedeng i-divide sa 3 kapag lahat ng kapag uh, pinag-add mo lahat mga digits niya, ang total nila ay divisible by 3. Example, 342. Is it divisible by 3? Tingnan natin. Isa-isahin natin yung digit niya. So, 3, 4, and 2. So, let us add all the digits. So, 3 plus 4, that is 7, plus 2 is 9, and 9 is divisible by 3. So, Automatic, yung 342 is divisible by 3. So, with 561. So, let us add all the digits. 5 plus 6 plus 1. So, 5 plus 6, that is 11. Plus 1 is 12. And 12 is divisible by 3. So, um, 561 is also divisible by 3. Next, divisibility rule for 6. If a number is divisible by both 2 and mga numbers na may 1 digit na 2, 4, 6, 8 at 0 ay divisible by 2. And 3 naman, kapag pinagsama-sama natin lahat ng mga digits or pinag-add natin yung mga digits at yung sum nito ay pwedeng i-divide sa 3 yun ay divisible by 3. example, is 126 divisible by 6? So, tignan natin. Unahin muna natin kung divisible by 2 siya. So, 126, the 1 digit is 6. And 6 is divisible by 2. So, pasok siya sa 2. And then, tignan natin kung divisible by 3 siya. So, yung rule ng number 3 ay rule, divisibility rule for 3. Sabi natin, add all the digits. 1 plus 2 plus 6 is 9 and 9 is divisible by 3. So meaning, yung 126 is divisible by 6 kasi pwede siya sa 2 at pwede siya sa 3. Next, divisibility rule for 9. Number is divisible by 9 if the sum of all digits is divisible or multiple of 9. So, tignan natin. The example is 918 divisible by 9. 
So let us add all the digits. So 9 plus 1 is 10 plus 8 is 18. And 18 is divisible by 9. Pag pinag-divide natin yung 18 divided by 9, ang sagot is 2. So wala siyang remindal. So automatic, yung 918 is divisible by 9. So ganun lang po siya kasimple. And punta tayo sa ating activity. So, the direction, write yes into blank before the number if the number is divisible and no if it is not. Can 486 be divided by? Can 700, 728 be divided by 5? So, tignan natin ang sagot. Then, ang divisibility rule for 5, dapat yung one digit niya is it's either 0 or 5. So, the answer for this is no. Next, 784 be divided by 2. Digit is 4. So the answer is yes. 100 be divided by 5. So again, the one digit is 0. Sabi natin, ang, uh, pag, uh, divisibility, uh, the divisibility rule for 5 is. The one digit is 0 or 5. So the answer is yes. And, and 310 divided by 10. The answer is yes. It's 918 divisible by 3. So let us add. Click on natin yung rules are 3. Let us add the digits. 9 plus 1 is 10 plus 8 is 18. And 18 is divisible by 3, or it can be divided by 3. So the answer is yes. Next, 534 divisible by 6. Sabi natin kanina, kung yung number ay divisible by 2 at 3, it is also divisible by 6. So let's check. So the answer is yes. And last one is 789 divisible by 9. No. Kasi, if we are going to add 7 plus 8, that is 15 plus 9, that is 24. And 24 is not divisible by 9. So the answer is no. 